What's going on fam? And welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be checking out on this Gallagher fencing that we have. Of course, y'all know we've had Gallagher fencing quite some time since we started this homestead. And we just moved our meat birds, our breeder stock. Check the uh, power on there because around this field is very high and I know it's kind of grounding it out. We might have to mow or do some edging around here. So let's check the power on this fence volt meter and see what kind of readings that we're getting. All right, so this is a, our Gallagher volt meter and how it works is you have this small little ground rod, you just stick into the ground and then you just put a volt on there or your reading right there. And this is the S10 that's powering this up. So we got a uh, 2.3, 2.6. Not too bad, seeing that we had a overcast yesterday. 2.6. So I think we could get better than that. So let's go check the vote reading over there. All right. All right. Let's see. See, it's, it's even. <laughs> it's high even over here. Let's check. I don't know what she did right there. It could that could be one of the issues right there. There, that should be good. Now that I'm out here, they think they got food. I got some food for them, but I don't. Let's check on the water while I'm over here. No, I don't have any food for y'all. Sorry. All right, so y'all got a little bit of water left. Let's go get y'all some more water and even <laughs> let's get y'all some water and some uh, a pan to put some water in. Let's turn that back on. So with the poultry netting, your poultry net is going to be your first line of defense on land predators. Uh, after that, we have the coop. <laughs> really you gonna be getting you some while I'm recording then the meat tractor is gonna be your second line of defense for them to go into at night and the automatic door to secure them in we try to make them as free range as possible letting the grass and the bugs be their first meal and then a fermented feed as their as basically as a supplemental feed for them now let's check on the reading of the fence. All right, so we get that in. Let's see how we got the readings now. So that improved it a little bit, a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the push lawnmower since the missus is over there with the riding lawnmower and move some of these fences inwards. Might even get some spray can and mark where the fence is at and cut a foot over this side and a foot that side so we don't have to worry about the grass grounding out the electric fence. Now with the electric fence, only the horizontal bars are electrified. The verticals you could touch without getting shocked, FYI. Now we've had, we purchased all of these Gallagher fences ourselves, uh, but the next one, I'll show you what Gallagher mentioned that uh, it's a new product. It's a solar energizer, not this one. This one's an S10. This is another one that we uh, purchased. And we got another one near our duck coop. And this is very good. All of their energizers is very good. Comes with a three-year warranty, very portable. So that way when we move in our fences uh, with our chickens at least once a week, it can be easily portable with the, uh, with the pen.
There we go. There we go. So what's hanging up on the first part? I don't know. Yeah, that's what I want. All right. So as you can see, so that gives you a lot of power off of the S10. Now let's go check the S12. Now here is the S12 Solar Fence Energizer. It's compact, it's portable, super reliable fence energizer. I like it because it comes with a self grounding kit. So it makes it real easy and it comes with your power connector right there, which you connect to your fence. It makes moving these electric fence a lot easier and faster. Now with the S12, it's supposed to be a faster charging and longer lasting battery than the previous S10 and the S6. The thing I really like about it, it comes with the self earthing grounding kit on there. It's weatherproof. Now with the Gallagher solarizers, I like them because let's say you have three weeks of bad cloudy cloudy weather uh, it's going to hold a great charge during those for those three weeks we had for the last three days alone had a cloudy even rain for two of those days once we cleared the grass we got a great charge so let's check this charge all right let's see what we have here 2.2 2.2 2 2.2 and as you can see we got it getting oh it's, it's real bad over here getting grounded out right here all back through there so the grass is just high let's get it prepared and cut like we did the other flock over there All right, that looks a lot better. Now let's check the charge. Connect the power to that. So we're good to go. So if you're interested in getting a Gallagher poultry netting or a solarizer or even both, we have the website down in the description. And if you put our affiliate code, you get a discount off of the products that you purchase. Now, I know in this video, we didn't show how to install the Gallagher fence. Uh, this is not a hard poultry netting to set up. We did a video on that. If you want to check that out, we'll put it up on here so that way you can check it out. And we'll also put it in the description down below.